The economy is veering off course, and the entire world is sinking into inflation that has raised prices of food, fuel, and even medicines. The United States is on the brink of entering a recession as the country's interest rates continue to rise. A terrible crisis is looming, and what's most surprising is that it might be a good thing. But how is this possible? We'll explore this idea in the video, but before that, I ask you to leave a like to help us. The current crisis may worsen further, and yes, we believe this can be beneficial. However, the basis for this controversial assertion is intriguing. Musk responded to a question from a Twitter user, stating that he believes we are heading towards a recession, but this can be something positive. He argues that there is an excess of money in circulation, and some bankruptcies are necessary. But what did he mean by money raining on idiots? He was likely referring to the monetary expansion that took place in the United States in 2020 and 2021 in response to the health crisis. This monetary expansion injected trillions of dollars into the U.S. and global economy. Many attribute the current inflation to this measure, which affects not only the U.S., but also Europe, Russia, and Asian countries. This expansion was a necessary response to the economic lockdown that occurred in 2020 due to the pandemic. With people at home and unable to work, governments needed to meet basic needs, especially food. However, the supply did not keep up with the increased demand, as many industries were either shut down or operating at reduced capacity. This led to inflation. Furthermore, Supply chains such as energy and semiconductors have not fully recovered since the onset of the crisis in March 2020. One of the solutions to control this inflation is to raise interest rates, which the United States Central Bank has already signaled it will do until inflation is under control. Inflation is not the only issue in this crisis, a recession has also arrived. The combination of inflation and recession is disastrous, resulting in what is called stagflation any country's worst nightmare. However, the argument that a deeper recession can be beneficial becomes clearer when understanding the context. During Musk's initial statement, he mentions that the period of staying at home made people think they didn't need to work hard, and this will lead to a rude awakening. The unemployment rate in the United States is around 5.9%, similar to the 2019 level before the 2020 crises. A significant change in the U.S. work landscape was the swift transition from in-person work to remote work, which occurred suddenly during the pandemic. People started working directly from their homes, avoiding commutes and having more flexibility in their schedules. However, in 2021, major companies announced plans to return to in-person work after two years of remote work. This generated dissatisfaction among employees, and some chose to resign. The director of machine learning at Apple, Ian Goodfellow, resigned in May due to the company's decision to make in-person work mandatory again. This may be in line with Elon Musk's statement that Americans might have forgotten that it's necessary to work hard to earn money. In the United States, we have observed a growing trend of voluntary resignations, with workers seeking better wages and working conditions. In September 2021, approximately 4.5 million Americans voluntarily resigned, giving rise to a movement called anti-work. This movement criticizes former employers and calls for better salaries. This trend suggests that there are many job vacancies in the United States, but they do not meet workers' expectations. It is estimated that at least 10 million job positions are open in the country, posing a threat to economic growth. Furthermore, the phenomenon shows that many people who resigned had some financial reserves or family support to sustain them. This is related to the argument that a deeper crisis can be positive because financially struggling companies may not survive an even worse global crisis, which would reduce resource consumption. Elon Musk criticizes the Joe Biden government for injecting trillions of dollars into the economy which, in his view, leads to poor resource allocation and unnecessary spending. He believes the government cannot print so much money without negative consequences. His predictions about the global economy tend to be accurate, 
and he foresees a worsening economic situation. Musk, the richest person on the planet, argues that a recession would be beneficial as it would reduce natural and human resources scarcity, control rampant consumption, and lead to more rational decisions in spending and investments, promoting healthier economic growth. However, this perspective contrasts with the reality of families struggling to survive. The economy can recover, but it's important to consider the difficulties people face. Overall, he advocates for a crisis approach as an opportunity for economic restructuring, but this must be balanced with the realities faced by ordinary people. Many investors will use this situation to make even more money, which can be a significant opportunity for them, but it is concerning for ordinary people. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next videos. Until next time.